Long story short, they get dirty. <sighs> this makes me nervous. Ooh. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to day one of renovating our kitchen. We are doing a lot of stuff in here, more than we've ever done before, and I'm so excited. We have somebody coming on Tuesday to measure our countertops because we picked out new countertops. The ones that we have are very, very old and they're losing a little bit of structural integrity, if you will. <laughs> the seams on the laminate on the mitered corners are lifting and water is able to get under and it's just not a good situation anymore. So we are getting new countertops and while we're at it, we're getting a new sink and faucet. And I figured that since we're doing all of this stuff, I might as well repaint the cabinets because I've been wanting to do it for a while. It is a bit of a daunting task, but we're doing it. <laughs> so I am going to show you some before shots so that you can see what it looks like now. I'm not gonna clean. I'm not gonna really do anything extra because I just wanna start working and getting this done. You will get the basic idea of what we were working with before and I'm so excited to see the after. Like I honestly can't even picture it yet. I'm just, yeah, it's gonna be so good. So this is the open cabinet situation that I did. I basically just took off the old cabinets and then put the wallpaper in the back and I'm going to be undoing that and putting the cabinets back on. I was looking back at old photos of of this with cabinets on it. And I think that it just makes the kitchen look bigger. I don't know. Plus I'm not great at shelf styling and this is pretty much what it looks like all the time. Utility. And I don't think that it needs to be open. We need the kitchen space for storage and I'm just not in the place to have open kitchen stuff like this. This is our big white fridge, which we are also keeping. <laughs> We've tried to justify getting a new fridge so many times, but we honestly just can't. This one works perfectly fine, and although it is ugly, it's not worth the amount of money that it would be to replace it. That's a really embarrassing photo that our friend found and put on our fridge. <laughs> what year was this? 2007. The rest of our kitchen is this big island area with more cabinets underneath. We have our dishwasher over here and cabinets underneath the sink. We are going to be keeping the stove, this microwave we replaced since we moved here, as well as the dishwasher. We've kind of just replaced appliances as needed. The biggest pain point for me in this kitchen, besides the countertops, like just being old and just ugly in general, <laughs> there's some staining on them from previous owners or people who lived here. Uh, just things that we can't get out. I think this maybe is from putting a hot pot on it. I don't really know. But anyway, the cabinets. Now I'm gonna give you a real raw look at what white cabinets look like in the cold, harsh, dreary light of day. Okay, it's not really that bright outside. <laughs> Long story short, they get dirty and Unless you're gonna be cleaning them like literally all the time like scrubbing them This is going to be your reality and I've just realized that after three years of living with this that I don't like it And I just can't <laughs> keep up with keeping it looking really nice the cabinet project or the kitchen project in general. I went to Ace Hardware earlier to get the paint and I have everything that I need now. I'm pretty confident that I've got it all. Um, so I have all of the cabinet fronts down here as well as the drawer fronts over here. And last night I took the shop vac and I kind of like vacuumed. There is dust everywhere, I'm so glad that I put up this plastic because it would have been everywhere otherwise. I do not know how 
influencers and DIY creators paint without covering their clothes or the floors or anything else because I literally am the messiest painter on planet Earth. I don't know why. There's no hood. <gasps> no, I have a collar. Why? Why do I have a collar but no hood? I'm gonna have to wash my hair again because I have to sand. I'm gonna start off with primer and it is going to more or less make it look exactly like it did before I started sanding. finished priming everything well priming you know the framing and it actually went very well I'm now going to start um, the prep for the color which is pashmina by Benjamin Moore as you can see but I also got um, a white color which is white dove also by benjamin moore so this combination was used by exo mckenna and i'm literally just straight up copying her and using the same pink combination because it looked really good and warm but light and i'm super excited i have not had to be super careful okay sorry about the literal bottle of tito's i lost my train at the oh let's put away the primer oh that's what i was gonna say so i'm not having to be as careful with not getting the paint on the countertops because we are replacing the countertops which is a very nice perk um when i painted them the first time i had to tape under here but knowing that i can just like slather paint anywhere underneath there it, and it doesn't matter is great where is my opener here it is so for the actual cabinet paint i got the benjamin moore advance which is like the nicest can of paint that Benjamin Moore makes. I think it was like $75, almost $80 a can. So definitely an investment, but I would say that if I did it this way the first time, I would not be having to do this again. You know what I mean? So I think that the chalk paint was an easy way out and I just wish that I didn't. I mean, you live and you learn, you know? It wasn't the worst thing in the world. It looked fine, but it just isn't that like shiny cabinetry look. I also got it in a satin finish. Usually bathrooms are and kitchens are gonna be satin or semi-gloss, just so that it is like very easily wipeable. I love this color. Wow, okay, but here's something about me, a little Becca trivia. I really don't care about paint colors, like, you know how some people will just get so fixated on what color to paint their walls? Putting all these swatches up and looking at it for weeks and all this different lighting. I have never been like that, like especially with whites. I'm like, just pick a white. It all looks the same. I just don't have that. Um, I guess it's like an attention to detail that I just don't possess. Now I'm going to need to do two layers of this i'm thinking pretty confidently it's gonna be two layers so this is coat one Ooh.
I am absolutely loving the way that the cabinets look. I mean, I've only done the framing, but it honestly looks so good. But the cabinet installer just came by because they needed to do official measurements because the countertops that we chose are solid surface. So it's poured acrylic, so they have to get the exact measurements. They needed us to have our new sink here when that happened. So we ordered it and Daniel went to go pick it up yesterday. And so they took that with them. They actually are going to just like fuse it to the countertops and bring it for the installation. They obviously don't need the um, the faucet. So I'm gonna show you guys our new faucet. It looks so pretty and I love black fixtures. I don't know if you've noticed this about other parts of my home. The only thing that I don't like about having black fixtures is you can see like the hard water on them. But honestly, I feel like that would be any color fixtures. It's just the black, it sticks out a lot more. Our sink is one of those big wide sinks. So it came with this little grate for the bottom. So yeah, anyway, I will see you guys when we are paint spraying the cabinet fronts. So we're back and it's time to sand the cabinet fronts. I have had a series of unfortunate weather events. As we know, there was a big cold front that came through and I would really like to sand these outside. So it's like 35 degrees right now and I'm out here. It's so cold, but honestly, it doesn't feel that bad because the sun is out. priming day and hopefully I can paint today but we will just have to see how the day shakes up. I think that I'm going to roll on the primer because it's an oil primer and then spray the paint if I can but the weather is a little iffy and I don't know if it's going to be warm enough for them to dry outside where I can like spray them all out here and be like really efficient with it so I might need to roll on the real paint too. Cooper, you guys, you guys. I'm gonna grab a couple of pieces of cardboard to like practice to make sure that I get the consistency good. I heard from a friend that this paint sprayer is a little bit hard to use. I wasn't sure exactly like how to make it so that I could hang these and paint them. So I have, just like McKenna did, I put C hooks on my cabinets and I'm, I've hung them on this ratchet strap. And we are kind of sacrificing the, racket the ratchet scrap strap. We have our test subject right here. I'm going to see if I can get the paint sprayer to work before I do all of the hooks because I just am not sure. So I will see you in a second.
might have figured this out. The first spray that I did, there wasn't enough pressure, so it looked kind of weird. But then I added pressure, and I think that that did the trick. <sighs> this makes me nervous. I think I just have to keep going and hope that I've done everything right. But this is using a lot of paint, like a lot. Welcome to my partially painted kitchen. I have my cabinet doors back inside and I'm going to start putting the hardware back on them and talk with you about the paint sprayer. So my number one thing with the paint sprayer is it was great, I loved it. It was a little bit of a learning curve as I suspected and it was pretty risky to start the testing process on the cabinet. Um, we did have a little bit of drippage in certain situations, so I would say if you are going to use a paint sprayer and you're not like extremely well versed with using it, um, expect drips, and I don't exactly know how to prevent that. Maybe like lighter coats. I don't, I don't really know, honestly. I didn't do like any research on using a paint sprayer before. I would say definitely have a foam roller so that you can kind of back roll. And I think that I remember hearing McKenna say that too. Maybe she didn't, I don't know. But anyway, it's definitely helpful to just like, if there's any bubbles or rippage, to just like foam roll over it. And it looks amazing, like you can't even tell that you did that. Once I actually started the painting process, it happened so, so fast. Like, I honestly could have done, if I had them all like hung up, it would have taken less than an hour, I'm assuming, because you really are just like swiping through the paint sprayer. Um, this is one of the first ones that I did and let me show you close up. Actually, I don't know if this will be the best way to show you, but you can see that the spray didn't exactly get this section and all of the bottoms of the cabinets um, did not get the spray, so I am going to have to roll this. I think mainly just in these crevices, it was a little bit hard because if you're spraying at an angle, it's not going to hit inside of here. So that was really the only thing that I noticed as a consistent issue throughout. I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out, to be honest. I think that they look really good. And there we go. That's what it looks like with the black hardware. This is my first time seeing it. I think that it looks good. I mean, I don't hate it. All of the cabinets are up. They look so good. I'm really happy that I did this. And I think that it's gonna look even better once the walls are no longer grayish and the color of the cabinets can really pop against the white. That is part one of this video. And part two is going to be a lot more things going on. This was one big project, but part two, we can expect new countertops. We can expect a new windowsill. We can expect a new sink, a new faucet, all those types of things. I'm really excited. It's really gonna pull everything together, so. Stay tuned to check that out. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. <sighs> this was a lot of work. Like painting cabinets is not for the faint of heart, but hopefully I never have to do this again, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.